the mirror of regret in the sleepy town of Ravenswood. Nestled between ancient forests and winding rivers, there stood a peculiar antique shop known as Edmund's Curiosities. It was a place shrouded in mystery, its dusty shelves cluttered with forgotten relics from times long past. One cloudy afternoon, Amelia, a curious soul with a penchant for all things obscure, ventured into the shop. The bells above the door tinkled softly as she entered. The shop's dimly lit interior seemed to stretch endlessly, every corner obscured by the shadows of forgotten artifacts. Amelia's gaze fell upon a tarnished mirror tucked away in the farthest corner of the store. It was unlike any mirror she had ever seen, its frame ornate with grotesque carvings of twisted faces and writhing serpents. Intrigued, she approached it, her reflection distorting each step. Edmund, the shop's enigmatic owner, emerged from the shadows. His eyes gleamed with an eerie intensity as he recounted the mirror's sinister history. Legend had it that the mirror was a portal to a realm of remorse and regret, a place where one's darkest desires and deepest remorse could manifest. Fueled by curiosity, Amelia purchased the mirror, much to the shopkeeper's sinister delight. That night, she placed it in her dimly lit bedroom, unable to resist its eerie allure as the moon bathed the room in silver light. The mirror seemed to come alive. Amelia saw her reflection contorting, taking on a grotesque, nightmarish form. The figure within the mirror reached out with elongated, skeletal fingers, beckoning her closer. Hesitation clawed at her chest, but an irresistible force drew her nearer. As she touched the glass, she felt herself being pulled in her room fading into a misty abyss. Amelia found herself in a desolate, otherworldly landscape, a realm shrouded in perpetual twilight. Twisted trees with gnarled branches loomed overhead, and mournful whispers filled the air. She was not alone. Other lost souls wandered, their faces etched with sorrow and remorse. The mirror's malevolent presence loomed large, mocking her. It whispered into her mind, forcing her to confront her darkest regrets. Amelia was plagued by visions of her past mistakes, the people she had wronged, the opportunities she had squandered. Each regret took on a physical form, tormenting her relentlessly. Days turned into endless nights as Amelia wandered through this nightmarish realm. She watched helplessly as her life's regrets unfolded before her, each one more agonizing than the last. She longed for escape, but the mirror's power was unrelenting. One fateful night, as she wept beneath the twisted trees, a figure emerged from the shadows. It was Edmund, the shopkeeper, who had been trapped in the mirror for centuries. He revealed the mirror's true nature, a cursed relic that fed on the despair of those it ensnared. Amelia and Edmund formed an unlikely alliance, determined to break free from the mirror's grip. Together, they devised a plan to confront their deepest regrets, head on, to find forgiveness and redemption as they faced their pasts and overcame their regrets. The mirror's power waned with a final burst of strength they shattered the mirror, sending shards of malevolence back into the abyss from whence they came. Amelia awoke in her own room, drenched in sweat. The mirror lay shattered on the floor, its sinister power broken forever. She knew that the horrors she had faced were all too real, and she would carry the lessons of that otherworldly realm with her for the rest of her days. Ravenswood never be the same, and Amelia's once insatiable curiosity had been replaced by a newfound wisdom. The mirror of regret was gone, but its echoes would forever linger in the darkest corners of her mind.